Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm also a sophomore. Hi, my name is Kent, and I'm a junior. And today's topic is... Um, topic is how effective is campaigning and advertising on campus? Keep in mind ASB elections, speeches, posters, handing out treats, etc. And do you know who you're going to vote for beforehand, and how would campaigning affect that? Um, I personally think that all this campaigning and all this advertising of the of like people and different candidates really sort of brings out their like their personality and it sort of get lets people get to know them better. I mean, you may know like this person as a very typically maybe very quiet person, but during his his campaigning, like you may see him as a much more loud person, as a person that's more willing to express his opinions. And sometimes maybe campaigning really brings that out in them. It sort of brings out that ambition. It sort of brings out that character that you may not have seen prior to the election. And I think that campaigning is a very healthy way of sort of getting to know your student body and getting to recognize um, what's going on. Um, so, well, like personally for me, last year, like with the ASB elections, like I was just a freshman. So most of the candidates were like juniors and I didn't really know most of the candidates. So. Honestly, the only way that I would have been able to formulate an opinion was through their campaigning because I didn't know them personally. So, I don't know, like their campaigns kind of just have to be like attention grabbing. So, I don't know how effective it is in terms of like what they will actually do once they are elected. It's kind of more focused on like, I don't know, being funny or like having something different that will make people laugh. And ultimately, like you kind of see like, um, the people who were able to do that last year eventually got elected into their um, desired positions. Yeah, I also agree with Michelle. I think a lot of the candidates, they appeal like to the viewers, like emotions, like with Jacob Lepp's like um, leopard print this year, Rocky is also dressing up. So I feel like it doesn't necessarily showcase like their true personality or what they really want to like, what they really want to be next year. like you don't really get to know like how they are as a person through just their campaign. The ideal is to, you know, you know, convince student body that like, oh, we like we have we buy this the right characteristics to to, you know, with to hold the to hold a position of such and such, right? You know, as members of a democratic nation, you know, that's what we're gonna that's what we're trying to strive for. But you know, there's also the obvious issue of bias, obvious issue of, you know, essentially buying votes. Because, you know, there's that issue, you know, we have t-shirts, we have badges, goodies, candies, what, uh, whatever, all that stuff. Like, basically, those are, like, you know, like, to get votes, you know, you, you know that candidates try to use incentive to, you know, just, like, convince readers to, uh, I mean, <laughs> not readers, uh, you know, basically, <laughs> candidates use incentives to try and convince the student body to, you know, just vote for them, right? But... Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's worth thinking about whether you know using using these things. So is it is it really right? Is it really the way to go? Because you know, yeah. And as I said, you know, you're just purchasing votes. You know, mm -hmm. like if, oh, like basically you're giving something, you're expecting something in return. It's, it's like bartering, basically. And uh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. And do you guys think it's more of a popularity contest now, or? Okay. What? Not okay. necessarily. I think it really, like their campaign really makes a difference. With Brian Tan, popularity wasn't necessarily the issue because he was running against LJ, who's obviously really popular and on the basketball team and everything. But um, I feel like his campaign it was really appealed to the viewer's emotion. Like um, we got to see <coughs> his use of like all these different languages and it was kind of like a shock for everybody. And, <coughs> We kind of felt like he tried really hard and he was like a worthy candidate at the end of the basketball. I think that really goes to show sort of the diversity that um, our student body looks for. In like many cases, like cer certain po certain people look for how well they think they can do the job, but others look for their popularity and others may look for look and others may look for how good they look and so, and so on and so forth. I think in general, um, a candidate's campaign um, a candidate who is able to appeal to the most people through whatever ways um, that it uses, for example, um, whether it be being entertaining, whether it be, um, I don't know, just being funny, or whether it be using its popularity, um, whoever is able to use the tactics that appeal to the most people is ultimately able to win.